Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to talk about integration. Whether you are a student or just curious, you are in the right spot. We will explain what's an integration and help you understand it better. So let's get started. Uh, if you remember, uh, we in the previous video from technique of integration, we see about the integration by substitution. Today we are going to talk about the next part of technique of an integration, which is integration by parts. Integration. Integration by parts. Integration by parts. So you know, first we, we see about what does mean integration by part, and uh, secondly how it can be works. We see that, and uh, uh, we will see an example of integration by parts. So until the end of the video, stay with us. So what does I mean integration by parts? It is the reverse process of a product rule of differential equation. If you remember in the previous video, uh, when we see about integration by substitution, integration by substitution is the reverse process of what? Chain rule. That's okay. Uh, integration by part is the reverse process of what? Product rule. It is the reverse process of product rule. One rule we have to remember in the integration by part is L I A T E. Let this is very helpful during the integration by part. This means logarithm, logarithm. This means inverse. This means algebraic. This means trigonometric. Trig. This means exponential. The uh, order of precedence when we are going to uh, solve the integration by parts. First, if we have logarithm, inverse, algebraic, trigonometric, and uh, exponential function. So let me take an example and solve with an um, example. Integration of x minus x. Yes. We cannot solve this one by integration substitution because we cannot substitute this one over here or we cannot substitute this one over here. If we let, for example, if we let sin x by u in letting u, we cannot reduce that one into this one. Or if we let x uh, by u and uh, uh, antiderivate that one, we cannot get this one. So and we have to take another method, which is an integration by part. So always we have to remember one rule, which is it is given integration by part is given as f of x times d derivative of x dx it's given always like this one so f of x we have to take from the highest precedence highest precedence g of x lowest precedence d derivative of x lowest precedence that means for example in this case we have sin x and an x x and sin x from sin x and x which have a highest precedence, which means if we take sine x, it is an a trig, trigonometric function. If we take an x, it is an algebraic function. So which have a highest precedence and algebraic. So we take f of x is equal to x. D derivative of x what? Sine x. So f derivative of x means from this function what we can get? 1. G of x means what we have to do is integrate this one. Sine x derivative integration means minus cos x. Sine x means minus cos x. Now we have a formula for integration by parts, which is in f of x, g of x minus integration of f derivative of x, g of x. This is the formula for integration by parts. So we have to substitute those uh, function into this formula. So f of x is x. G of x means minus cos x minus integration of f derivative of x means 1. G derivative of x means minus cos x dx. So minus x cos x minus 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 plus integration of cos x. We take this minus over here and uh, we uh, change the sign into plus dx. So integration of cos x is sine x. So minus x cos x plus 
sin x plus constant c because it is an indefinite integral um, i talk about an indefinite integral in the previous video if you don't watch it please go back and watch that what that mean so we add plus constant c over here and the final answer is this one so let me take another example so let me take another example integration of ln x so every time when we solve integration by parts we have to remember this order of precedence and what's uh, what's f of x and what's g derivative of x f of x always highest or uh, precedence and g derivative of x is lowest precedence so over here what we have is one and the ln of x ln x is logarithm one is algebraic so ln x has highest order of precedence so f of x is equal to ln x g derivative of x is equal to one so f of x f derivative of x means over here what we have is one over x what about g of x we have an x integration of g derivative of x means x so we have to substitute this all thing over here so what's the formula f of x g of x f of x means ln x what about g of x x x ln x minus integration of f derivative of x f derivative of x is 1 over x what about g derivative of x? g of x f x d of x so x ln of x minus integration of 1 dx because x can be simplified with x so what we get finally is x ln x minus x over here integration of 1 is x plus constant c plus constant c is the final answer of this question so integration by part can be solved um, like this one uh, i think you get, you get some pointers if you are new for the channel please subscribe and like the video until the next video bye bye